Okay, folks, I, I forgot exactly where I found this. This will be an interesting one. I don't know how it's going to look. We'll soon find out. Gonna leave it on a hundred. Okay, let's see what this is. It is, it's some kind of dress. It looks like a school uniform. I'm not sure what that Q means, but there's a school, it's near a school I got this. Um, but it's, I think it's a school uniform. And this is the lovely uh, pinstripe pattern that we have on here. We're gonna make something interesting out of it. But yeah, it looks just like it's a school uniform. I hate school, folks. School really sucked. I never liked school. I'm glad I don't go there anymore. I'm glad I'm out of the shithole. It was hell. It was like a form of hell on earth. As far as I'm concerned, I never felt loved. I never felt accepted. I got teased. I got bullied. I got treated like a troublemaker. Because I wasn't doing my schoolwork properly and I didn't enjoy it because I had a disability that was undiagnosed. And I got treated like it was all my fault. And that's come up with you really quite nice. I got treated like it was all my fucking fault. Uh, that I was had a bad attitude to learning, which was what the special school that I went to in primary school um, came to the conclusion that I had a bad attitude to learning. I got treated like a troublemaker, even though I hated making trouble, I hated getting into trouble. Uh, hated the uh, school reports and the whole and my parents wanting me to excel putting pressure on me and making me really upset me trying to do the right thing but not having the the power to do so because uh, I had memory problems and I had trouble I don't know where, how many fucking disabilities I've got folks I know I've got I've got had brain damage at birth because mum used to talk about having a cord around my neck and coming out breech when I was born and, and that I was unconscious or something. I was put in a incubator or humidity crib uh, and basically for two days. And mum had a really traumatic birth and basically, yeah, I really suffered for it and. And then, of course, it just caused so much issue at school, and I do believe I have high-functioning autism, which is responsible for the teasing and bullying component of well, most of it. Although sometimes the kids called me slow because my learning was really slow. and They were just a fucking bunch of shitheads. And I know that my brother still hates me because of the school experience because he got teased a little bit of spillover from my teasing into, became his teasing he got teased as well because of me and because of these bitches wouldn't obviously wanted to fuck up my relationship with my brother and they did and it just my brother used to try and stick up for me but then he found the tide was too strong so he joined in and became a fucking nasty little piece of shit so you know school I never really have any kind of admiration for the school for school and I have got very bad memories there's some good memories but I don't want to go I wouldn't want to go back in time and live that one out again I'm glad I don't uh, but you know really trying to make something of my life now I'm trying to get in touch with my lost partner Luigi on the six o'clock news
and I really miss him and it's really lonely without him and yeah and I know the schoolies and the people from church also they didn't like me either and basically they made my life difficult and I ended up rejecting Luigi when I was 19 and I'm now 51 and I'm still I'm now fighting for my life to get on the six o'clock news on channel nine to get in touch with my partner Luigi to put the past behind me and that's come up looking quite interesting I think we can now call this demo quits